Hello everybody, Raging Donuts on, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, you may notice we are not in Minecraft, and that's because I'll be showing you guys how to install uh, Optifine and run shaders on it, uh, because I've had some people ask me how to do it. And it's actually really, really simple to do. Uh, many of you may have heard of Optifine or something like that. Optifine is basically a mod slash client for Minecraft that makes your game run smoother and gives you a lot more options for the game graphics and such. And it also allows you to run shaders. Uh, so this mod, you will not get banned for using this mod on 99% of servers. It doesn't count as cheating. It just makes your FPS and such things smoother. So to download it, it's very, very simple. Uh, make sure your Minecraft in your Minecraft launcher is closed and go to optifine.net. Uh, once you are there, go to the downloads page and select the version for uh, your version of the game. So I'm playing in 1.13.2. So come down and select the newest version and uh, if you click mirror and that will go ahead and open up the direct download link. So go ahead and click on that and that will download Optifine. So once that's done, make sure to press keep and you can go ahead and drag that out on your desktop just like that. And uh, now uh, go ahead and right click and press open and press install. Make sure it's uh, set to your default Minecraft directory. But uh, if you don't haven't changed that, it should just be this shouldn't be any different. Press install. And it should come up with Optifine is successfully installed. So now you can close this uh, and open up Minecraft. Then go under, uh, then you go down to this up bar right here. And you should see under your list of profiles 1.13.2, Optifine, and then whatever version of Optifine you're using. So now go ahead and launch that. So while that is launching, you can actually open your browser back up again. And now you will need to decide on which shader to use. There are hundreds of different shaders for Minecraft. Uh, but my favorite is Silver Shaders. So you can go to their website, then go ahead and find uh, which version of the shaders you want. I'm going to be choosing, uh, so make sure you choose for the right version as well. Uh, so this uh, right here are the newest versions. So I'm going to select the light version uh, because uh, well, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So this will bring up an ad fly page and uh, make sure not to click on anything that pops up because that is usually a scam. Just go ahead and wait until the seconds countdown is done and then press skip add and that should bring up the next page. So go ahead and wait. Uh, you'll now see if you go in your options menu in Minecraft and video settings, there'll be a lot more options uh, and you can change a lot of different things about the performance. But uh -huh, here we go. So go ahead and press download again. Make sure to close any pop ups. Those are usually just a scam. OK, so you have your shaders here. Now go into again your options and then video settings and then shaders and then open your shaders folder. There we go. Then go ahead and just drag this zip file right into your shaders folder. And right there, you should see the shaders pops up. Silver's Vibrant Shaders version 1.19 light. So go ahead and select that and press done. Now, as soon as you enter a game, uh, you can also do this while you are in a world, uh, though it is faster to do it from the option menu, just like this when you are launching. And there we go. So you can see I now have shaders installed and this is the light version. Uh, of course, you can also get the higher versions if you have a better graphics card than me. And then you can also change the quality of the shaders by going back in the shaders menu and changing render quality that will change uh, how many pixels it renders on your screen. Uh, shadow quality, how high quality the shadows are. You can see they're quite low quality here. And hand to depth uh, thingy, which I actually have no idea what does. And more advanced options are in the shader options, which I will not be covering all of those. Which, uh, But one thing I will show is a personal favorite of mine, which is ice and glass reflections. I always have that turned on because that looks absolutely lovely. That just has it so the glass reflects things such as sunlight and okay bad example it works with stained glass uh, so yeah anyway that was just a quick tutorial to show those of you who didn't know how to install optifine and shaders so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time goodbye